<laughs> Welcome back to the morning show. It's time for This Week in Real Estate with Bob Zador. Welcome back to Friday morning. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's good, it's good to be live. <laughs> live, on, uh, live on Friday. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We weren't fooling anybody. No, probably not. It was... <laughs> <laughs> We're glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back. How's things in the real estate world? Uh, still going forward. The market's still moving. Rates have they went up like another tenth of a point yesterday. Um, it's you know tough, but people that have got cash is people who want to come here. Uh, moving forward, so that's all we can hope to do. We you know we hope that we can get people to find the right home for the right time of their life, and that's always been the main mission anyway. And to get people, whether they're moving in, whether they're moving out. We don't get a lot of people that are moving around right now because of the rates. You know, somebody who's in a 4% mortgage isn't going to trade it in for a 7 and 5 eighths. Mm -hmm. uh, so life events happen, though. You know, people have babies. People have, you know, there's things that occur that we got to get out of this house. We got to get out of this rental. The, the landlord's selling it. Those types of things, we're trying to find houses for people. You know the folks I feel the sorry is for? Anybody that's got an ARM. Yeah, see, I never, we, we stayed away from that. When, when those were going through before, when those balloons were going through in 08 and 09, um, we didn't lose one person, lost their house. Nobody that we sold a house to lost their house. Because I talked people out of buying houses. It was like, look, just wait. This will pass. Wait till the rates get settled down. Mm -hmm. Wait till this bump the, the rise that we were going through comes in because you got to remember they're going to they're promising you this rate right now and the rate's going to stay the same but you're going to have to make the principal payment as well mm -hmm. and uh i mean there were people who just got crushed thank god we didn't like i say i talk people out of it just just wait and yeah. you'll be better off yeah there's some folks out there that's got them and they're getting some pretty good bumps right yeah now. yeah yeah, I, I've never been a big fan of that. I mean, there's some times you get you, there's things that you have to do because you have to do them, uh, but you need to be aware of that that you, the the cost of things like that can all of a sudden sneak up and bite you. How many lonely signs do you have at your house? Um, I got a few lonely ones. I got a few stacked up over there. It's just you know, we're coming into the season. You and, know, and you're not looking for permanent home. homes for them. You're just looking for foster homes. That's yeah, it's all it is. It's just Kind of, you know, some place to put a little quick short-term rental. Yeah, it's, it's the uh, foster <laughs> sign program. That's right. That's right. I've got, uh, in fact, I've got one over on Dyer that we'll be picking up on Monday. And, you know, we'll find another home for it. Yeah. People that call in is, was out with, on a couple listing appointments this week. And uh, th it'll happen. People, like I say, life events occur and you got to go. So we're up for as far as the number of houses uh, that are on the market is up a little bit and it's starting to catch up i was i was catching up on some old um stuff i had been doing a couple of years ago and the number of homes that were on the market then was like 675 <laughs> it's like well i don't know that we want to get back to that again though either you know if we could get around 350 ish that would probably be a more normal normal market but the supply because it would bring the prices down a little bit mm -hmm. that's that'd be the thing a little competition um, and, and that's what's happening right now. Because of the rates, people, there's still so many people that are looking to buy homes. There's such a big demand that it doesn't matter. The, that's, that's forcing the prices up. And when the rates come down, and they will, I don't, this it ain't going to come down this year, but next year, you know, probably towards the end of next year, well, there's a lot of buyers that are waiting, mm -hmm. and they're all going to jump back in. Well, there's still the same amount of houses there. And there isn't a lot of new construction because it's so expensive for the builders to build. They're not just building track houses just to build them and wait and see if somebody, hopefully somebody comes to get them because the rates are so high. So there's a disconnect right now as far as people who want to buy homes and the number of homes that are available. And that's what's keeping the prices pushed up. Uh, although we're seeing more price reductions, people that are like, okay, i I thought we could get, you know, 2021 20, money, and um, we can't. So we got to go. You know, we've got a house that we're buying in Phoenix, and we were always going to re retire there, retire, retire there. And 
Can Anybody that thinks that the interest rates go back to twos? Uh, no, nobody I've talked to. They're dreaming. I mean, yeah, that's not going to happen. Twos, threes. I mean, if we could get into the five mid zone. fives, five mid fives, everybody's kind of happy with that. It's kind of like there's a, a happy price for oil. There's a happy price for mortgages as well, as far as the banks go, and still being able to offer you something on a savings account, uh, a CD account. <clears throat> things like that. It's, there's a lot of things going to make it cheap enough for people to borrow money for business, you know, to open up business ventures and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's tough to get a business loan right now. And for what you're paying, yeah. now, if you're opening a restaurant, that burger now costs you an extra quarter for every one you put out because you got to make that money back. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that go on, you know, within the economy that don't really think about, but that affect larger much larger sections of the economy you know and six could be the new norm oh yeah i mean so seven had been seven was a normal rate before COVID and everything that's right we're around where the rates were you know high sixes low sevens um and that's for people with good credit you know you got to kind of take that into account we bounce those numbers around but you know if you're depending upon your credit score and your payment history things like that that's definitely going to affect and it's going to jump up a lot faster than it's going to come down mm -hmm. uh, so one of the things that you may want to do now if you're thinking that okay well we'll wait for the market to come down a little bit wait for the rates to come down a little bit go see somebody go to chris nasari go to your bank don't think you're going to do it on your own and say well i'll get my credit score up by i'll pay this phone bill off and that'll make my credit score better there are specific things that uh, these credit agencies look for to, to that they base your credit scores on. Go see somebody who knows what those things are and pay those things off, and not the worried about. Don't some things you don't you don't have to worry about as much. I'm not saying don't pay your bills. Some things you don't have to worry about as much as you do others. So you want to kind of go see somebody who knows. Do what they tell you, so that when the market does slow down a little bit, when the rates come down a little bit. You can participate and be ready to go with a better credit rate. That's a big part. And go ahead and grab you a pre-approval letter while you're there. Give it a shot and see what you know. See where you're at, so you know where you're at. And then, like I said, and if you're not ready to buy, but you're thinking about it, go get that done so that you know where you're at in the game. You know, you know, stay off the internet, please. I, I <laughs> please stay off the internet. I've had. Uh, too many conversations with people we've had too many deals where you're two three weeks out ready to go and they go yeah we're not going to fund that what <laughs> yeah we're not going to fund that that we 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 didn't uh, we didn't know this or that they didn't they were supposed to send us this form and they never sent it so it got kicked out <laughs> so try to get that back together in a couple weeks you know, that's when that's we're on the phone with Nassari saying, Chris, what can you do? Because it's it's hard. And, and it's harder with the, the banks take a little longer. You know, you need somebody who can respond quicker. But the, the Internet banks, when you're paying a ginormous rate for the fees and everything else, I mean, they can't afford to buy. They can't afford these big arenas, basketball and hockey arenas and baseball arenas, if they were giving you that good of a deal. Mm -hmm. And you need somebody you can talk to. You can sit across the desk and talk to Alan Moore, talk to wh whoever your banker is, and say, we got an issue, or what do I have to do? And you go forward from there. Let's look at some numbers. Yes, sir. This week in real estate, there were 40 new listings come on the market, two commercial properties, 14 parcels of land, 24 homes came on the market. Uh, seven of those 24 are taken back up, so that's, that's active. Uh, there were 29 sales, one commercial property, five parcels of land, 23 homes closed. They range in price from 76000 to 440000 Average sale price this week was $240,000 with 63 days on market, which is really, really short. Uh, eight properties expired, 23 hit price changes, and there's 48 residential listings waiting to close. Currently, we have 282 homes on the MLS, so that's actually a good thing for uh, the market as far as people that are coming in it makes it worthwhile for them to come that they've got a, some options to see year to date for 2023 there's been 837 homes have sold for 191 million dollars the average sale price this year is two hundred and twenty eight thousand dollars with 86 days on market last year there had been 957 homes that sold 
for, with an average sale price at 221 with 80 days on market. Um, for 2021, there had been 1,014 homes that sold with an average sale price of $198,000. And so you can see that the pressure has pushed the prices up, even though there aren't as many homes being sold, the, the numbers, the average uh, sale price has gone up quite a bit. So uh, if, you, if you have real estate questions, if you have you know, things you want to know, if you want a list, if you're thinking, of, you know, if you're thinking of selling, and you're just trying to get some ideas, give Linda a call. She's at 870-405-0793. Uh, you can check out the website retiredarkansas.net. We've got the whole MLSs on there. We got the great cameras on there. There's a bunch of local information. Uh, we'll be at Turkey Trot t today and tomorrow. And uh, I know for tomorrow for sure. I'm not sure. I have got some stuff that's bubbling up today so we, not make, we may not make it till tomorrow uh, or stop by the republican uh, tent over there we'll be there for that as well at turkey trot all day call me honey 870-405-0793 are they having a parade parade is tomorrow morning at eight o'clock there you go and it's coming by there's politicians there's candy there's all kinds of things all kinds of goodies that's a big parade actually <laughs> it is go by and see the z team bob and linda zadora 870-405-0793 the Z team of Century 21 Lee Mac Realty. Retire to Arkansas.net's website. Yes, Check sir. it out. Give them a call. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with Friday Sports in just a moment. Go Bombers.